Hello everyone, this is Chidanan from Kratz Info Tech NG. Welcome to this tutorial on GitHub Actions integration with Sonar Cube. What I plan to do in this demo is show you how one can integrate a project which is a Maven based project which is pushed as a GitHub repository onto the GitHub cloud or the GitHub server. How one can write something called as actions. Actions are nothing but a small runner kind of a stuff, which are in in a light way, I could compare that with the Jenkins agents. The only thing is there is a provision to run these actions or to run these uh, agents on the GitHub cloud itself. For more information about GitHub actions, you can refer to one of my previous tutorials. In this tutorial, what I want to demo is how I could integrate a Maven based repository which is up and running on the GitHub cloud. Connect that with a Sonar Cube server. Sonar Cube server is nothing but a server which can do all kinds of static analysis on your application. So I'm going to pick an application which is written in Maven. And of course, it's got a Java project. And all that the GitHub Actions needs is a bit of configurations. First is what is the host? Where exactly is the Sonar Cube running? What is a token, a kind of credential in order to get into Sonar Cube and then perform an analysis and of course, a project key. So let me get started and for the from the purpose of uh, demo, I'm using Sonar Cube, which is running on my local host and I'm running 9.8 version of Sonar Cube. Let me first show you the GitHub repository that I plan to use. This is the GitHub repository, which is available as a public repository. I'm going to leave the URL in the comment section so that you can refer to it. So this repository is a normal repository, which is got a form.xml and um, nothing much in it other than um, some references to how do you want to package the application? What is the dependency, which um, is only a JUnit test case dependencies, uh, some sort of a servlet that it needs. And of course, it needs a small plugin, which is the Sonar Maven plugin. Now, this is a simple GitHub repository. And uh, this is a Git Ignore project, which is um, nothing but an Ignore set of files. And uh, there are a bunch of source code that is present in uh, the web app folder. Now, if at all I need to make uh, or I need to invoke GitHub Actions, I have to create something called as an YML file in a particular format. In case you watched my GitLab uh, setup, there also you got to create a file called gitlab-ci.yml. Similarly, out here as well, I need to create a specific file, which is nothing but an invocation um, to ensure that Git knows that or the GitHub server knows that it has to trigger some sort of an actions. But even before that, what do I actually put in into this particular uh, action file, which is nothing but a YML file that I'm going to write up. So in case I need to search for it, um, all that I got to look for is GitHub Actions, probably Sonar, Sonar Cube. And you will find all sort of documentation as to what kind of a YML file should you put out. Pretty much, um, you know, it will give you almost all the information about what you want to put in uh, in your YML file, which is a standard template, of course. You can modify this based upon if you have any other specific needs. So out here, it tells me that, you know, you got to put this in a file called .github workflows. And uh, this YML file can be anything, need not be just built. And what is important is a couple of things when you write this YML file. What is the trigger? When exactly do you want this action to uh, you know, kick, kick off? Do you want it to happen only on some specific events? Or you want it to happen on a specific branch? Or if you want it to happen on any other event, which could possibly trigger your flows workflow and then the name of this particular um, action that will get triggered how many jobs are there you can have multiple jobs where are these jobs going to be run run runs on you can even have your own um, local or self-hosted runner as well in case if that is the need right uh, out here i do not have too much of a requirement the steps are pretty simple uh, one is the github repository would contain all the source code has to be checked out onto the runner that is going to be running on an Ubuntu uh, image. So for all of you who know Docker, 
probably know what happens in the background whenever a runner is kind of triggered or whenever a GitHub workflow gets triggered in the backend it spins up a container and this is the base image on which your runner would run so use ubuntu latest um, check out check out the source code and then look at the syntax this is all that needs to be done in order to trigger sonar cube all right what is more important is uh, two things out here one is the host what is the url where exactly you're running your um, sonar cube scanner and of course what kind of a token or what is the credential which can be used by github actions if it has to go and reach out to your sonar cube server and get the uh, scanning done of course there's one more parameter that also needs to be present which is nothing but what is the project key or the project id so first let's go to our sonar cube server configure a bunch of these things and then come back and put this yml file as i mentioned for the demo i'm going to be using a local sonar cube something that i'm planning to run on my local box i have a bunch of sonar cube uh, versions for the demo i will use sonar cube um, 9.8 and in the bin folder there's a file that is specific to the windows um, start sonar so sonar cube has got a kind of requirement on specific versions of JDK. So if at all you get that up and running, um, your Sonar Cube will start. So I've started my Sonar Cube. Sonar Cube runs on port um, 9000. So let me just log on to my Sonar Cube. All right, it's got an admin username password. Mm. All right, so now out here, this is a fresh installation of my Sonar Cube. I need to put up a placeholder as to what kind of a project would be scanned. So I'm going to do that manually. There are a bunch of ways of doing this. This is how I would prefer it. So what is the project name? I would just call it as um, GitHub Action Scan. That's the name. Uh, automatically, it picks up some sort of a project key. Uh, what is the branch? Um, yeah, I think uh, we're good with uh, main. Master is what is usually preferred, uh, but then main is also good. I can anyway modify this later on in case I need. So I'll say setup. And then it also gives you an option. How exactly do you want to analyze? Who is going to analyze? Do you want to integrate this with GitLab? You want to integrate this with Bitbucket uh, pipelines? You want to integrate with Jenkins, GitHub Actions, a bunch of stuff. All right. But what I prefer to do is I will uh, pick something called as um, locally because I couldn't. Uh, you know get that to run using any other method this is what works best for me so that's why i'm going to choose this particular method so it asks you for a token so token is nothing but a kind of a short-lived authentication which will allow you to do you know certain things based upon whatever it is authorized to do earlier in the older versions of uh, sonar cube we used to grieve the username and password we used to create a bunch of users and give that which was not such a good practice right now we can generate tokens we can revoke these tokens and tokens are you know uh, can be uh, given specific permissions so i'd say this sounds good and expires in 30 days and that's all right so it'll give me a token so this is the secret that probably i should not be giving it to anyone else so I'll keep it somewhere here safely, All right? And then click on continue. It also tells me what kind of project do you want to scan? So Maven is what I plan to scan. So it very, very clearly tells me how should I invoke the Maven? If at all, I plan to run it from you know, a command line or something like that. This is how I would like to invoke. I'm just using this method uh, so that I get the, um, the project key, all right? And also I get to know how do I invoke um, Maven? Maven with Sonar as the targets, right? So this is exactly what I would want. I just copy it so that, you know, I'll have it as a reference somewhere. Not that I'm going to use it uh, just the way it is. Or other part that I want to do is, now if you notice, my um, Sonar queue is running locally. Now GitHub server is running on the cloud. So in order to make my server accessible to github i plan to use a small utility called ngrok this is just to make 
a public IP address of my uh, private IP. So I already have this installed somewhere. It's a simple um, executable. So let me show you how that works. Right, I will just fire up this ngrok.exe HTTP 9000 is the port that was exposed. All right, it gives me a short lived, I mean, as long as this is up and running, I got a free account. So, you know, if at all, sometimes this also goes bad, but nonetheless, for the demo purpose, it will hold good. So, this is the URL, it gives me a strange URL, but um, that URL is a good enough URL for anyone from the outside world, from a public place, if they want to access my sonar cube, that is the URL that somebody needs to hit. All right, so I have the token, I have the URL. I also know my project key. Now this is my project key. All right, this is all that was required for me to be set up on the sonar cube site. Now let me go ahead and write my action or rather copy and paste my action. So I've copied this uh, YML onto my uh, notepad out here. Uh, pretty much uh, same main master. I've just made it made some changes here so that you know this action gets triggered for both um, branches main and master. And um, I also added a project key. Okay, now two things that you would notice here: the Sonar Cube host and the Sonar Cube token are put as secret because many times we do not want these YMLs. Uh, to be exposed to the outside world because most of the things in Git is all, um, you know, um, in text format. We don't want the text to be seen by anyone and everyone. So I'm going to introduce two variables. One is called Sonar Cube Host, other one is called Sonar Cube Token. Now these are repository specific secrets. So let me introduce that well within my GitHub repository. So this is the uh, this is the repository GitHub. Oh, not this one, sorry, my bad. All right, GitHub MVN action. Got a lot of repositories, I need to clean it up at some time. Okay, now this is the repository. So out here, if at all I go to the settings section, and possibly come down here to the security part, you will find secrets and variables, especially for actions. Okay, so out here, let us introduce uh, two new stuff. Okay, first one is called the sonar cube underscore host. Okay, uh, sonar cube, um, sonar cube host, this is good. Uh, well, I can I could name it however I want it and reference it later, but this is what I want to use it, sonar cube underscore host. And out here, what I want to copy is the URL of my sonar cube this is the public url otherwise it's localhost 9000 now this is nothing but the public ip or the public fully qualified domain name right so that's my url out here okay i added that and next one is the token okay and the variable name is sonar cube underscore token sonar cube underscore okay sonar Cube underscore token. You just see these, um, you know, variables just because I've used them somewhere else. That's why they kind of uh, show up. Sonar cube underscore token. All right. And uh, the token is the value that I kind of copied. Okay. This is the token that I copied from. Oops. All right. So I've added um, these two variables. If at all I want, I can make the project um, name or the project key also as a secret. But you know, project key is, is all right for me. Uh, it, it sounds okay. So sonar cube host and a sonar cube token. Okay. Having said that, now let me go ahead and create my actions. So actions will have to be created. If you look at this documentation, it says that actions should be created in a specific folder dot github forward slash workflows and some sort of a yml file so let me do that add a file create a new file um hang on this is github maven action yeah that's that's the repository all right it has to be dot github forward slash workflows 
okay so dot github forward slash work close forward slash you can name anything that you would want i will just call it as sonar dot yml right now out here what i need to do is i'll just copy um this stuff out here control a control c there are multiple ways where you know you can go and search for all these actions and all that part i'm not going to do that because i'm pretty sure this works if at all uh, there is some sort of an error out here um, it kind of shows up in red um, but otherwise you know it's, i mean the yml is pretty self-explanatory okay so i'm going to create uh, this yml file all right as soon as I create the YML file, let me take a look at what is happening in the actions. All right. So now here you will find that a workflow got triggered. A workflow got triggered, which is nothing but whatever as a runner or whatever is an agent, which is provided by uh, GitHub free of cost because uh, GitHub has got a bunch of uh, different um, licensing for a public repository it gives you some times of uh, you know, some amount of uh, time which can be you know run without really charging anything to your account it's a kind of a free service that it provides so out here automatically when i checked in the file or when i made some changes to the repository ideally i shouldn't commit anything directly to the github repository using the ui the idea is like i'll do it locally on any of these uh, you know clients um, you know with, with the nice ide and then i commit it and then push that particular change okay just for this demo i've just directly copied and pasted so now you see automatically a trigger happened and uh, you have these actions which is nothing but a small agent which kind of got started this will take a bit of a time to run so let me pause the video and i will you know resume once um, the action is completed it took a while to do this but if you go to the top you'll find all that the actions uh, did in the background if you see here it actually built a particular docker image it's got a docker file based upon it which uh, it built a docker image where it picked from a sonar source um, uh, some sort of a base image that is there on top of that it applied uh, some stuff and then you know, it built all this thing and then he ran the scan as well he ran the scan as well um, you'll pretty much find whatever happened in the background and if at all uh, there is some sort of an error you'll possibly find that out here in case you know something is missing any parameters based upon the sonar version and the maven versions and stuff like that any kind of an error that in case you hit you'll possibly notice it out here so the sonar cube scan successfully happened it was able to push the repository to these um, you know sonar server so if i come to my sonar server there you go all right if i come back here if you see here there's a github mvn action um, and um, the project was completely scanned whatever issues that it had um, it's all kind of uh, put out here for me it's not important what exactly uh, the issues uh, but in case you are an expert in sonar cube you can put all kinds of um, quality gates and stuff like that and kind of because sonar cube is known for doing all that stuff how to integrate a repository on github server using something called as an action that's what i wanted to tell i hope you found this uh, tutorial useful you can uh, clone the repository of mine and uh, use it but in case um, you know you plan to use it Please ensure that you modify the SonarCube URL and the token and the project uh, key that is present. Any issues that you may run into, I hope not, but in case you run into any issues, kindly leave a comment and I'll try to address it uh, as soon as I can. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Have a good day.